Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number 18, the second last day of the Zurubang World League and decisions might be made today. So stay tuned and watch all the games. It's going to be great. I am looking so forward for this. I, I am having so much fun and such a blast. I just don't have a voice anymore because of all the recordings. But nonetheless, let us start with Brazil against Australia. Oh, that was such a strong fight. Australia against Thailand, where Australia lost their game. And Thailand has now 23 points, Australia <clears throat> on place number 4 with 22 points and Brazil on place number 7 with 20 points. So they want to catch up with Australia by winning their next round eventually. But of course Australia doesn't want that. <laughs> it's actually the last chance for Australia to keep up and uh, stay in tune with Indonesia two points apart let's do it that is not an air card and wins against the black energy knight sapphire golem good points already here oh three-headed monkey loses against the flying piranhas brazil could win their last match and they will win it here only plus two power not enough hydra wins Fergal has no chance against the fire elemental though, and if that's an air and that's a... Yeah! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, this is the top score, definitely. Both destroyed and points twice for Australia. It's kind of double points here. Wow, 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 wow. Australia doesn't want to fool around here at all. What a what a good good hit here. My gosh. The spider has done it. The big forest spider might be one of the most important figures in this duel. <clears throat> and it proves to be like this. Let's see. Next round. A lot of uh, air and a lot of water here. And Actually, one element is missing at all? No, they're all there. <laughs> Fire Elemental, what is the Black Energy Knight still doing there? I mean, he doesn't have the chance to get there, so even that has been blocked. My god, the big forest spider. So much damage, but the Hydra wins the top duel against the Sapphire Golem. So, Brazil is getting some hope back here. Flying Piranhas. And not only that, the fear goal also. <laughs> what? And that's of course the victory uh, for Australia. But now it is just 10 to 10. Oh my gosh. Brazil back on track. Everything, everything is back to normal again. So now did this big forest spider win against the banshee twice is it enough or are the points missing in the end which they lost in the midfield right now and what is the banshee and the big forest spider will not hit the banshee again let's take a look oh it's the black energy knight once again but this time winning against the three-headed monkey the fear goal wins again against the sea troll <laughs> hydra cannot even be destroyed it doesn't matter anymore the win is secured sapphire golem wins against the banshee and our cat is so sad a big australia fan <laughs> brazil does it two victories in a row 18 to 12 points and now Yes, Brazil has actually just overtaken Australia. Whoa! <laughs> the big and huge fall of Australia. That, after such a nice comeback from them, such a pity. They fell a little bit apart now. 
and they will not be part of uh, speaking in the championship. Too many teams can get too many points here. Uh, it seems as if Australia is out. They have to win their last game actually to stay secure in the Champions League. And here we have Canada against Egypt. Egypt could, oh, where is it? Here, could just get a draw against Turkey. They were so close to being up there with a lot of points. They still are. They are on place number thir three. Actually, the draw wasn't the worst thing they could have had or managed to have. So place number three it is. <laughs> I'm actually confused. Egypt managed with the draw to be up there and still is remaining one of the top teams and one of the top followers of Indonesia and Thailand with 24 and 23 points. Now let's take a quick look at Canada still. Place number 19. So the last, last, last unbelievable wonder can happen if Canada wins both games and Japan and France and Vietnam lose all their rest games, then Canada <laughs> might have a chance to survive. Let's see about that. Shana starts. She will have a very nice duel eventually, except the Periton might get in the way. Two points. Oh! Inuin shoots down the Periton and the Beholder has the shooting ability in the third position. So that's a nice draw here. Whoa. And the Doomer takes out the Cockatrice. Oh no, it is the worst case scenario once again. But this time it's the good part for Egypt. They will get double points here. And last but not least, the Orc Archer actually wins against the Ember Gremke. What the heck? 7-2-3. Very uh, confusing. And the Doomer, I mean the Doomer is out. The Doomer is losing anyway. That's a, <laughs> it's a fact. Against any card, the Doomer is losing anyway. So the Doomer sacrificed himself now to uh, the cockatrice so the cockatrice doesn't destroy any other unit it couldn't get any better maybe this was a perfectly well planned idea wow canada in the lead against egypt i am so uh, stunned oh that was close i thought the last card might have been the Periton, but the Periton loses against the Beholder. What is going on here? Red Dragon wins against the Inuin. That's for sure the duel of the shooters. Boomerang Fighter definitely wins. And here both guys are back on track again while the Cockatrice wins. But the Shana wins against the Amber Gramke. Two points. That is 11 to nine canada what is going on <laughs> what is going on here still the advantage is in egypt's hands no doubt the doomer is a guaranteed loss we have to keep this in mind <clears throat> no card with power one here for egypt so that means with other words oh my gosh that is looks very very strong for egypt no the orc archer does the only correct thing it could do here <laughs> and shoots down the periton and shana wins against cockatrice and the beholder <laughs> wins against the Amber Gramke. I am going nuts here. Red Dragon wins and of course the Boomerang Fighter. Canada wins against one of the strongest teams in the tournament with 17 to 13. Unbelievable. Crazy. It's, it's hilarious. Oh, Canada now has 10 points. So... <laughs> It is not all over. It is still a little titsy tiny glimpse of hope. Now the other teams just have to lose tremendously high to get the score a bit better. And 
now Egypt, now Egypt uh, stays on 22 points and might have a very very hard time to keep up with Thailand and Indonesia who can still score and be gone to win the championship. It is Japan against France and I forgot about this. It is the duel of all the duels. Not only that, I just realized, unfortunately for all the fans of Canada, those two teams are fighting against each other. This means one of the teams will have 14 points or at least 13 points if it's a draw and that means Canada is out. Canada cannot climb up out of the relegation. The second team after Mexico is out and this is the duel of all the duels for of course for the relegation. It all depends who can win here. Let's start. Well, maybe I should turn them around. <laughs> Red Energy Knight wins. First blood for France. Oh, second blood too. Cyclops against Highlander. Strong duel here. And the Air Ghost. It's not fire. Wins against the Wumpy Girl. <laughs> that, that is not earth the water ghost wins against the desert troll and the nightmare golem wins against the moon dog wow what a duel here four to six a slight little advantage for france here my gosh wow 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 i am stunned by this duel this is going to be super interesting two ghosts chasing each other but only one ghost is definitely stronger than the other one is air one is water desert troll no chance against the moon dog what is he doing there again <laughs> and this ghost has been taken out by the cyclops not good highlander wins though against the water ghost and the Wumpy Girl wins against the Desert Rider. And last but not least, the Nightmare Golem against the Red Energy Knight. 8 to 12. France is on the lead. They have it in their hands. If they win, they can make it happen. They can win it. And it's very important because they have the terrible, much, much worse score than Japan. So they have to get a lot of points back here in this duel. Did I, did I mix? I don't know. I will do it one more time. Boom. There we go. Last chance for Japan. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about it. <laughs> Cyclops wins. Super important win. And the Moondog also wins. It is over. The Nightmare Golem gets the points back. Even the Air Ghost against the Water Ghost gets some points back. But finally also the Wumpy Girl wins against the Desert Troll. 12 to 18. It's not over yet. It isn't over yet. But France made the effort possible. Takes over Japan. Japan now on place 17. And France on place number 16 oof now the only team which could interfere a little bit is vietnam if they also win their next game and the last one of course and now we have an interesting duel then out of a sudden spain has a little bit to talk <laughs> in the championship 21 points on place number six at the moment and the United States of America is one point behind them on place number eight with 20 points. Their fatal loss against Mexico. It is so crazy. And Spain tries to be up there now. So this is going to be, ooh, look at the clashes. That looks back and forth here. 
bit better for the US team. If Spain wins, they have 23 points. And then another uh, decisive day would, will happen. Cybergrain wins against the zombie and the Moogog wins against the sea monster. This must be painful. Not only that the Moogog is uh, out now, that's painful, but the loss. Mighty Krabarka wins against the Gladiator. Mighty Krabarka, one of the best US units in the last five to six games for sure. And the Carrot Knight also wins against the Dark Elf Assassin. Oof, the Sorcerer Apprentice has absolutely no chance against the Black Dragon. Four to six. Oh, Spain, don't do it. <laughs> don't lose this now. <laughs> You have three shooting units. One of them has to land on the black dragon. Why can't you make it happen? And the US team wants to get back. I mean, even the US team can still, theoretically, if they win this, they can still also be part of the championship. But uh, it's uh, much, much more difficult, of course. But look at the US team, perfect card spread here. Sea Monster wins against the Dark Elf Assassin and definitely, oh, it's the Black Dragon hiding from all the shooting uh, cards. Very clever. Cyborg Rain, of course, against the Zombie once again a win. The Carrot Knight takes out the Sorcerer Apprentice and the Gladiator loses against the Mighty Krabarka. No, Spain again, once again, is falling apart and has no chance to come back almost. There's only one single point left for the US team. And look at that, it's, it's actually uh, there already. Does the US team have a uh, air unit? I doubt it. And that is the case. So USA actually won and they are back on a bit of a track again. At least I would say they guarantee themselves the victory for the Champions League. No other than Mighty Krabarka wins this duel. Very nice win. Cybergrain shoots and wins, but this Carrot Knight is stronger. And the Gladiator wins here, but also, of course, the Black Dragon wins. So, wow. Six. Uh, one, one, what, 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 one is missing. Ah, here, Mighty Krabarka, my fault. 10 to 20, USA overtakes Spain once again, and Spain remains with 21 points. And it's a big, big, big fight for the Champions League now for a lot of teams. And the USA, well, tries to be at least in the top four of the table. And here we have it, our last and final duel of this day number 18, part number one. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Thailand against Russia. <laughs> Woo! What's going on here? Basilisk alone against Thailand? No, this won't happen. Come on. <laughs> it's a bit more difficult than that. So we have Thailand on place number two and the strongest follower of Indonesia. One point behind. And then we have Russia, uh, yeah, they're just in the middle. <laughs> they are just in the midfield. Never ever have to worry about the relegation. Can still make it possible actually to get into the Champions League, but they have to win both their games. So there's still a little tiny chance, but first it's the duel against Thailand. Boom, Baphomet loses against the Green Dragon. That's how the starts. Oh, Lizard Archer, a win against the Succubus. So that is interesting. Air Elemental though wins against the Druid. And the Gnomling has no chance against the Alpha Cat. And the Basilisk only gets a draw against the Spirit card, who turns into a Water card. So, 7-3. to three. Strong result in the very first round for Thailand. Russia. Can they come back? One destroyed unit, and it is, of course, a flying one. That is important. But uh, Russia has too many Water cards, probably. 
to uh, take an advantage of the ah oh, there it is the air elemental at least that looks like it's it's going to be a point here Tja, the gnomeling doesn't make it the air elemental doesn't have power nine it has power eight and wins the duel such a pity but the druid wins against the succubus and the alpha cat gets the draw against the basilisk but is out of the game oh it's another draw lizard archer against the green dragon very very important figure here for sure and the baphomet of course wins against the specter which he would have won anyway so that is one two three four against one two three four five six eleven two nine only and in the very last round, there is no Alpha Cat. Hmm, suspicious. Who will win this duel? It is very, very close. And Russia turns out to be a stronger opponent than Thailand would have hoped for. No spirit card here. So good news for Russia, but here is a spirit card and that doesn't help at all. Green Dragon takes important points. And the Air Elemental, another very important victory. <laughs> Nomling <laughs> wins against the Alpha Cat. Is this important? Very, but it's not enough. Succubus gets the draw. And the Lizard Archer wins this, but it is a 16 to 14. Woof! Super close! But Thailand manages to win this duel against Russia. And now, for a brief moment at least, is on the first place in the table, overtaking Indonesia. We will see how Indonesia will do tomorrow. I hope I see you then and uh, have a good day. Bye bye.